Good morning everyone. It is day two since we did the engine overhaul. Um, today I just went ahead and checked the fluid. Oil is good. Coolant is flu uh coolant is full in the radiator. The reservoir was kind of low, so I went back up and top it off to the full level. Um, I'm assuming that the engine took some of the coolant because it was just processing. But we're not leaking, we're not losing coolant, so that's good because we don't want that. So let's go ahead and uh, do a quick first start. It's a cold morning, cold start. And let me show you guys what um, it looks like. Yesterday when we were doing the first start, um, I did have my GoPro set up right here so you guys can see the engine bay. Um, but for some reason my GoPro um, decided to shut off. So that's why we only had that footage from the inside. So here's the first start or cold start. Fresh coast start and uh, it's nice and quiet. It's definitely much quieter than it was before because before you can hear a exhaust leak over here. I'm gonna go ahead and post up some footage of when the head gasket blew and you can hear the misfire on number six. So let me go ahead and show you guys that real quick. So that's what it sounded like when it had a misfire. <laughs> it was going boop, 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 boop. And you can see uh, coolant blowing off of the uh, mid pipe, the down pipe to the exhaust. For the timing, I went ahead and set the timing to factory, 10 degrees. I might play with it a little bit. I know a lot of people, they put their timing to about, um, I think they do like 13 or something along that line. Or they do like six or seven degrees, that's what it is. Six or seven degrees um, when they jump the connector wire at that far end over there. But we'll see what happened. And also the EGR works great. No EGR check engine light on because we have the resistor right here. So this is the heat temperature sensor. It usually goes right here. You cut that up and then you put a resistor between those two wires. So, so far EGR delete is great. No check engine light and also just much more cleaner engine bay. The heat is nice and warm. Um, when we did the back flush on the heater core, there was a, um, there wasn't a lot, but there was definitely some debris inside of the heater core, um, like small chunks of plastic. Um, I should have took some photos, but forgot to. <coughs> but heater, heater, um, heater works good, and also the heater did work good before we did all this, anyways. Um, but it's always good to flush the heater core when you have the chance. <coughs> 
So it has 229,660 miles. I think I did about 50 miles yesterday just driving around town. Uh, went up to some mountain side of the city and it performed really, really good. And also that oil leak that I mentioned earlier or yesterday's video, um, it's, it's still there, but it's not leaking bad. It's just very, very minimal now. So I'm not really gonna worry about it. It's not gonna cause any issue. And I always carry an extra gallon of oil and coolant with me all the time. So worst case scenario, if we just need to top off during a long trip, I can just top it off. But you can see right here, it's idling uh, right about 600, 600 to 650 is normal idle for the cruiser. And also the exhaust sounds, the exhaust system sounds pretty gnarly now. It sounds better. I will have to flush my brake system. I've, uh, my brake pads are all brand new, but I noticed that yesterday when I was coming back down off those mountainside, I felt like my uh, brake system was kind of sluggish. So I will just, I'll probably do a go, I'll probably do a one man brake flush this weekend. And I also want to do more research on how to delete the ABS system because I do want to do that eventually in the future. So if you guys got any questions or if you guys have any info on that, let me know on how to delete the ABS system on the cruiser. So there's some small things that I want to do this summer, um, like the lights. There's the, the lights be behind these switches. I think this one and this one, I think they're dead. So during nighttime, you can't really see them, but those are all just small stuff. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Just a quick start on the um, Land Cruiser 50 miles into the top end rebuild. Um, so far, it does great. And I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll keep you guys updated in the next couple days and next few hundred miles. And also, I'm going to make some more videos about my um, engine overhaul, like things that I should have known or just some tips and stuff like that um i want to make a video on how to remove the oil pan um just like my advice and stuff and like how i did it so um expect some of those videos coming here soon shortly i'll catch you guys next time Bye bye